Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Enoch Gregory Kabai. It's 2022 and it's feeling all fresh. We are all excited about the new year. We are done celebrating. We are back to work and it's all energized. We are all ready to hit our goals. And uh, right now, a lot of gyms are probably full. People are trying to hit their fitness goals. People are trying to hit their finance goals. And I mean, everybody is excited about the new year, right? But according to statistics, by now, people who set their goals a few weeks ago have entirely forgotten that they even set these goals in the first place. So if you are still pursuing your goals, kudos to you. You are part of the, 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 the few who are pursuing their goals. But uh, another thing you may be wondering is why am I making this video at this time? Uh, I'm making this video at this time because I believe that... Uh, things should come at the right time that people need them sometimes i put something on my whatsapp status and someone is like wow this really hits me i feel like you you read my mind and you gave me what i needed and these are some of the things that i like to hear because i like to give people the messages at the right time and according to statistics a lot of people have already forgotten about their new year goals or i mean they've given up on them i mean a whole matrix of reasons as to why but the basic thing is that they stop pursuing their new year goals and we all want more money we want better relationships we want promotions we have we want all the good things in life right and uh, sometimes in the midst of the chaos the the the, the Accra traffic and a whole lot of things we sort of forget that i mean we need to live and we need to live for ourselves we don't just live for the job we don't just live for uh, uh, uh some other people we live for ourselves and we also need to pursue our goals so in this video i just wanted to tell you what i really think about new year resolutions new year goals and whatnot and uh if you set some goals or you didn't set some goals this video will still help you so yeah stay stay and uh you might learn a thing or two so welcome to my channel my name is enok Gregory kabane and i make videos on self-help and a wide spectrum of things uh, you can look through some of my videos if you're interested do watch them as well while a lot of people do not set goals the few people who do not all of them still pursue them right just because a lot of people are not intentional about their goals so this is one of the things I want to talk about most people set goals but not everyone is intentional about them. Most people just say, oh, I want a new car. I want to get married this year. I want to do this and that. But if you want to get married this year, then you probably already have uh, a serious relationship. So if you don't have a serious relationship, it's probably not going to happen. And if you want it to still happen, maybe you have 12 months to work on a serious relationship. I mean, uh, that might be tough, but if that's your goal, you need to think about what it's going to take because you don't just set goals. Uh, uh, you need to think about them, you need to reflect on your life and find out what are some of the things you really need. And uh, there are a lot of things that goes into goal setting, but this is the most important thing I think people don't think about. Uh, when it comes to goal setting, it's extremely personal. You don't look at what people are talking about, what people are planning for their lives and do it you have to reflect on it and you have to uh, sort of be very intentional about this this is because most people just feel oh it's new year i have to set new year goals the truth is you don't have to set anything you absolutely don't have to set anything you can sort of wake up the new year and just live your life as it is do nothing be nothing say nothing and just be there continue going to your job or doing whatever you keep doing and life would simply go on nobody can force you to set new year goals but when you are doing it make sure you're intentional about it it applies to you as a person it's, it's something that means something to you and uh, with this kind of energy this kind of personality or uh, uh, conviction that you have you have more reason to work on it right because uh, perhaps uh, uh, if it doesn't mean anything to you, might, you might as well not have set it in the first place because you are most likely not going to do anything. And when you try to mean something, it's going to feel, uh, it's going to feel hard. It's going to feel uneasy. And I'm not saying that if it means something to you, it won't mean so hard. 
uh, it won't be so hard but the truth is if you are doing something that means something to you sometimes you are able to bear it better than if it doesn't mean anything to you are just doing it for the clouds and doing it for social media and things like that so you need to be intentional about your goal setting the next thing i want to talk about is that most people uh, do not know how to actually set goals and this is something that i find worrying because uh it actually takes out the 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 ability to set the goal well and to be accountable to yourself uh there's a simple framework you can use to set goals it's called the smart uh, technique the smart framework is an abbreviation that stands for specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound now i'm going to take them one by one so that you can understand how to go about setting your goals now when it comes to specific a lot of us don't really set specific goals uh, and this is because we don't really understand the psychology behind goal setting uh, if you set a goal uh, and you give yourself 10 years to achieve it you might as well take 10 years but if you set a goal and you give yourself one year six months or i mean give yourself a, a very realistic timeline then you are more likely to achieve it so when it comes to specificity you need to be specific about what exactly the goal entails and uh how you are going to measure it so when it comes to specificity you might say okay i want to lose a specific amount of weight in this year or maybe the first six months of the year this is something that you can measure this is something that's very specific so the first one is s which is specific it has to be very specific i'm going to lose weight if it has to do with money i'm going to make this amount of money this is how you plan to make the amount of money and this is even your plan b so yeah specific in case something goes wrong there's a plan b that you can go to and that's the second one is measurable it has to be measurable if it's not specific you cannot measure it because uh you want to lose weight if by the end of the year you've lost just one kg you still lost weight right but that may not improve your health in any particular way because it's just one kg and that's over a full year so this, this is something you have to think about how are you going to measure your goal and uh if you are to be able to measure your goal you need to make it very specific because if it's not specific you face challenges measuring it the third one is that it has to be achievable sometimes we set goals that are really 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 out of uh, our reach i'm not saying that you shouldn't dream big i'm not saying that you should limit what you want to do you should stand your vision and not do what matters to you but if the vision is so big you might as well break it into pieces then you say okay today I'm starting a business, but my goal is just to make 5,000 within the next two months. By the next two months, you can say, okay, in my business, this is what I've actually made. Is that to 5,000? You assess it and you move on. But you can't just say, okay, I'm going to make 5,000, sorry, a million in the next two months. It doesn't work that way because probably the business is new. You don't have an existing clientele. You now have to go and look for clients and it's a whole stressful process i'm not saying it's not possible to make a million in two 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 months but i'm saying that sometimes as a person or personality you know that your knowledge the skills your experience will not allow you to make this amount and yet you give yourself that goal in your own mind you've already killed the possibility of achieving it because you know that bro this thing i'm certain is just nah i'm just doing it yes on the surface level you may actually feel pumped up about it but on the subconscious you know that it's not possible you've never made a million and now you want to just make a million in two months it doesn't work that way yeah you may find some magic something that will help you to do it but it doesn't work for a lot of people and if you want to set goals they have to be achievable and they have to be uh, uh realistic which is the next the next uh, point the goal has to be realistic it has to relate with some of your past experience probably you, you you've, you've been doing what you do for some time and you know that every year there's the amount of money you make so probably you want to profit up by 20 percent so you profit up and you say okay this year i'm going to go 
way above to 20, more than 20 percent and that's that's a reasonable goal right so these are some of the things you need to go through if you want to set a goal and the last one it, it has to be time bound most people if they are setting new year goals they set it for the year so you already have your time but sometimes if the goal is for a year and it's so big you can break it up into months or quarterly so in general this is the amount i'm going to make even though i'm pursuing a million by the end of the year i'm going to make uh, 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 maybe a hundred thousand this this month first january uh, sorry by the end of january then you sort of break everything down so that it's not like you wake up december did i make the million no but if you break it down and you say january you have to achieve this once you start hitting the goals each and every month you know that eventually you would achieve your yearly goal so these are some of the things you can do to improve your goal setting and this is what i really think about goal setting the the truth of the matter is that you don't have to set goals but when you're setting them they have to apply to you as a person they have to make sense they have to be be be, be realistic and help you to do what you want to do with your life nobody has to create goals because they feel compelled to but they want to do them because they want to improve their lives and this is what i think about goal setting and it doesn't really matter whether you are setting the goals at the beginning of the year the middle of the year you are setting them up today anytime you feel like your life is not where you want it to be that is the best time to set a goal or to create a resolution so uh, i'm not really much into uh first january goal setting december reflection and that kind of stuff i believe that we all have uh, lives that we are living that brings us different circumstances and situations each and every day we face pain we face joy we face anxiety we face different things at different times and we all have things different things that motivate us for you it may be your mom for someone it may be their dad for someone it may be uh, the vision of a better life someone may be trying to do a whole lot of other things everybody has what motivates them and sometimes we may, we may not be well connected with what motivates us to to actually do something to change our lives so if you are not at this level and you set a goal you may as well not do much about it and it's normal if you're not doing anything about your goal because you probably don't have a good compelling reason for those who have a good compelling reason something they remind themselves daily about if your immediate surroundings are so negative that you want to do everything within your power to leave those environments you would hustle you would do what you need to do to live there and it's something that may sound uh, harsh but i believe that sometimes the circumstances that push us to pursue our goals it's not just okay uh it's new year we have to set the solutions right so yeah i've already shared some of the things i think about uh, new year resolutions and goal setting and i've given you a simple framework you can use to set your goals this is something that is used by businesses both big and small to set their own goals so i mean if you want to set a goal use a simple smart framework specific specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound and if you use this it will make it much easier to remember your goals and to measure them and to keep yourself accountable and these are three important aspects of any goal that anyone sets or any organization sets